Hi and welcome. In this video, I will show you just how quick and easy to protect front end the web application and API endpoint using the Checkpoint WAF as a service. So let's uh, get uh, started. I have two web applications that I want to securely expose to the internet. They, currently, they are currently available at these URLs. Both applications are running on the same front end server, but each one listens on a different port. My goal is to make them securely available over HTTPS only. At this stage, I haven't uh, purchased any SSL certificate yet. And the first application will be accessible using the hostname acpwaf.net. This domain is managed in Azure DNS. And the second application will be accessible over bmytestnet.com. And this domain is managed through GoDaddy DNS. The WAF as a service is fully managed through the Checkpoint Infinity portal. You can go ahead, create your own tenant on the portal and follow along with this tutorial in your own environment. The portal address is portal.checkpoint.com. Now navigate to the policy tab. From there under asset tab, you will be able to create a new protected asset. And let's say create the first one. Make sure you type HTTPS and not HTTP. We are not going to allow HTTP access uh, for security reasons. And don't worry about the SSL. We uh, will automatically generate a certificate for your FQDN. The default protection profile is already set to SAS. So the only thing that you will need to select is the region and choose the one that is closest to your front end server. And by the way, we are continuously adding new regions. So in the near future, you're going to see more options available over there. Since our machine learning agent doesn't yet know your application, the recommended best practice is to leave the web application security profile on learn and detect. Once the engine has enough data, you will be notified to switch to prevent mode. At this point, it's also a good idea to add trusted source IP addresses and addresses you will be used to access uh, the application frequently. This helps the learning engine accelerate the understanding of your traffic, uh, of the traffic patterns. Since I don't have existing SSL certificate for this application, I will proceed with the default option. However, if you already have a certificate and a private key, you can simply upload them using the second uh, option. Once the setup uh, is complete, you will be redirected to the new SAS profile that has been created along with the asset. But before we can generate the public SSL certificate, we first need to verify ownership uh, on your domain. And to do that, log into your DNS provider and create a CNAME record using the value that uh, has been automatically generated for you in the portal. And this thing is important when adding a CNAME, make sure you remove the full domain, leave only the subdomain uh, part. Now, behind the scenes, our service check your DNS record using NSLOOKUP every 30 seconds. So you might need to wait a bit for the verification to be complete. And once the domain is verified, we will begin generating the SSL certificate using a AWS certificate manager. This process uh, may take up to nine minutes. When this process is done, you will receive a new CNAME record. You will need to point your application FQDN to that uh, new uh, value. It can take a minute or two for the DNS propagation to complete. Now I will move on and repeat the same step for the second application, this time using GoDaddy as a DNS provider.
Once the domain setup is uh, complete and uh, the test from the Infinity Portal confirm access, you should now be able to access the application directly from your browsing using HTTPS. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment on the post. Uh, thank you for watching.